Congratulations, graduating dragons. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to um, save and archive anything that you have in your uh, student Google account uh, if you need it for the future. Uh, the first way to do it is one of the simpler ways, and you can just go to uh, a folder and right click it or control click it if you're on a laptop and click share. With that, you're going to share it to your personal email address and make sure that um, can add or organize, add, and edit is clicked. Once that's done in your personal uh, Google account, uh, you'll see it in the shared with me. Uh, make a copy of it and then add it to your uh, drive folder. Uh, that's one way you can do it. If you have a lot of information that you want to back up, I'm going to show you another way. Uh, as of today, which is May 24th, 2017, this is not activated, but you will get an email that will um, show you uh, how to do this when it is activated, if it is. So um, what it is, is you're going to go to Google Takeout. And again, you'll get an email um, saying if this is activated for you guys. And through here, you can see everything that Google offers um, all the way down to, you know, voice and, and these. There's a lot here. Really what you're interested in is backing up your uh, drive, maybe your emails, uh, photos if you have it. So I'm going to unclick the things that I don't need. Calendar, bookmarks. And I'm going to leave green everything that I, I do need. And... I'm going to turn off most things here. Let's say I want to keep my emails, YouTube, say I posted some videos on YouTube that I need. All right, so once you do that, um, this is saying that you're going to back up your Google Drive, your Google Photos, your mail, and your YouTube account. You click Next. What it's going to do is it's going to create an archived zip file. So I'm going to do this, leave it as uh, archive zip, and I'm going to increase this to four gigabytes. And I can choose to send this link to my email. What it's going to do is it's going to package all of those folders uh, and documents that's in your Google Drive and either email it to you or put it into your Google Drive for download. I would click create archive and then I have to go manage archives. So you can see in this case, I did one on May 22nd. It was 71 gigabytes. You probably don't have that much and I'll click done. It does take a while, um, but then you get the email in your um, email account. Now email accounts will only be active for a short time after you graduate. And again, you will be getting uh, all of this information sent to you uh, via that account uh, shortly. Again, guys, congratulations and uh, make a great future for yourself.